Uh, welcome back to Cud Buzz with Galen. We're playing, uh, we're playing Cud. I and, died and now I'm lost. Yeah, you, uh, I, w I went to go grab a drink and then you're like, I'm just going to go back to the rust wells. It didn't work out that way. So we are lost and there is a croc. Somewhere? Where is the croc? Uh, to the west, to the northwest. To the northwest. We can ignore them for now. Um, we know where the rust wells are. They're east, right? Yes. So why don't we just head east the old-fashioned way? Remember, you can move diagonally. I only say this because you will save a lot of time. <laughs> there you go. Now... Okay. What's that? That is a uh, witch wood. You can look at it. Well, that's a dragonfly. But I assumed you meant the witch wood tree. I did mean the witch wood tree, but here we are. Mm, that's a brine stock. Brine stock. Uh, well, you're looking at the brine stock. Try uh, when you're hovering over it. Try pressing the plus or plus or minus key. Mm. There you go. Ah. Golden fronds unfurl when the desert wind moistens. It's the bark collated in the tiny intersecting rings have been chewed off by the wood grazers. Okay. So, uh, which wood is, uh, is actually a very, very useful material. Unfortunately, um, that one's already, um, kind of picked clean. Um, I, I, I just know these things. Don't worry. Uh, but here's a, here's a, a good thing to know about. Uh, hit I for a moment. I. So you notice in your meds, you have which wood bark. Yep. That's, that's where it comes from. It comes from those which wood trees. Um, if we had cooking, uh, or sorry, um, yeah, cooking and gathering, then you can actually gather, like, which would bark yourself from, um, you know, trees that are ripe. But, uh, mm. which would bark right now is our very early game version of a, of a med pack. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna want to use those in the future, and, um... Knowing about it now helps us prepare for that eventuality. So one thing, uh, well, uh, it's fine. We'll, we'll do it later. You uh, tell me we, now. We since we loaded, uh, reloaded a checkpoint. You no longer have the cudgel skill. If you want to take it now, you still have a hundred skill points. You won't be able to get bludgeon, but you will be able to get like the basic I'll, proficiency. I'll wait. Okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna keep going. Keep going. I'm about to learn you a new thing. Ooh. I discovered the lair of Asvicura, the legendary glowfish. I hate those efforts. I note the location of the lair. I'm in the glowfish in the location's lairs. Yeah, uh, legendary creatures are very, very good in general. You remember... No about uh, or to kill um both either um here's the funny thing so you remember you remember making um or sharing a dram with a couple of the people in jopa and how you yes. got you got reputation with uh certain factions or even potentially lost reputation mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. legendary creatures are legendary for a reason um they're known they have renown people know them um, and so they have reputation with certain factions and depending on, you know, their reputation, they might be worth killing because they would make certain people very happy or even befriending if they, you know, for the same reason would make certain factions very happy. Generally speaking, you always want to gain reputation. There's not really any benefit to being enemies with anyone. Okay. Uh, we can, do I need to do anything here, or do I just keep going? We, we know of this layer. We can come back later. It'll it'll be easy to do so. We can is move that, through this, it. Is that the stairs? Yeah, the stairs, the, stairs? Will, the stairs will lead you down into it. We can 
we can have a look if you want. I think, uh, I mean, they'll be glowfish, so they won't be too hard to kill, even at level two. We don't care about killing um, the other glowfish in this area. We just care about the legendary glowfish if they are, like, if they're loved by a bunch of people, we don't want to kill them. I assume I can't swim for some reason. No, you can swim. But it's dangerous. It is kind of dangerous, yeah. Um, there's no, I maybe no, no way of you knowing that, but um, I can tell you how it's dangerous. We can, we can uh, look at the details of that. But generally speaking, you do not fight well when you're wading in water. Now that looks like the little shrine in there. Yeah, we can look at it from here. We don't have to walk right up to it. You could gain the uh, information that it holds just by looking at it. There you go. You do discovered the location I, of Mervretum. I meant to read that, but I didn't. It's okay. That's actually a very good shrine. Not all shrines give you a named location like that. I'm gonna read it now. The shrine depicts a significant event from the life of the ancient sultan. Anecdote through. Ugh. <laughs> Amadun. Amadun. There he befriended seculants and recorded the events of the last year of his life. Oh, well, that's. Hey, that's a. That's, that's significant. That's. We we know how that sultan died. Is that significant? I mean, yeah. Um, every. There's a those are there's only a certain. We don't know how he died. We just know that he recorded the events. Mm, the last years of his life. That's maybe true, actually. So we know that the next bit of info is is we find out how they died. But there's a certain number of sultans in each playthrough, and like so, there's like finite information about them. There is an actual achievement for learning like every single tidbit of lore about one of the you know a sultan. So, I mean, it's not not significant. Okay. Do you want to kill a glowfish for some XP? Do I? Uh, you can. You They're friendly to you now, but if you hold control and then move into them, then you'll... Yeah, there you go. They're worth 25 XP. Glowfish are one of the easiest things to kill for how much XP you get back. My... You can you can go through that. It's honestly not a problem. It's only a problem if you're being chased down by like 50 things and you need to fight them back. Do I want to look at this star apple tree? You can. Yeah. It's almost always going to be not... easier to just <laughs> hit the L key, unfortunately. Yo, that's pretty good. There you go. Apples hang from ashen branches, motes of luscious red light in a bleach tableau. That's another one of those uh, plants that you could harvest if you had the harvest skill, but it's also also oh. already picked clean. I know it said that it has star apples, but it doesn't have like ripe ones. More glowfish. Let's dilute salt, I see. You regain your bearings. <laughs> You're no longer lost. So I can go back you... to the world map? Yep. There you go. Great. Now, this building's a different color than it used to be. Does that matter? No, not at all. The, okay. uh... Notice some ruins nearby. Would you like to investigate? You won't uh, really lose anything by doing so. You might be put into danger, but you might be able to get out fairly easily. Knowing about ruins might be helpful for us. I've discovered the ruin. I've noted it. Nice. So we're not in immediate danger, so it might be good to just like back up out of this now. Now that you know about it, you can come back in the future. You can also make camp. We haven't done that yet. Uh, I am hungry. Yeah. Uh, a? 
yep. be. Uh, it's better to just like arrow down to it or WASD down to it. Oh, you did it. Nice. So now you want to interact with the campfire. Whip up a meal. I would like to whip up a meal. Whip. A sprinkle of foam creep click flake. Blah. An apricot and some wretched trash. <laughs> it's Arby's. Great. It's Arby's. You whip up an Arby sandwich. Mmm, they've got the meats. <laughs> they've got the trash. They've got that wretched trash that I love so much. Alright, now we can now we can back up. Perfect. We could go to the same well, or we could try a different one. It, since we died after we went here, mm -hmm. um, it will be differently generated. The seed generation isn't perfect, so it'll it might be a little bit different. But you know, if we didn't like it, we can try a different one. You want it? Yeah, there you go. You're good. We got. <laughs> A goat. Two, two baboons, three baboons. Three baboons, three goats, one man. Another hermit. We're, we're close to the stairs. We could just ignore all of those baboons. A baboon to your north is throwing rocks at a kudzu. Oh, there's, there's a hulking baboon on to your east. Yeah, we, we definitely don't want to have much to do with any of that. So try not to jump down those ledges. I only did what you told me to do, man. What's that worm? I'm not. A, I'm not. Um, that is a. That is a leech. You want to kill that seed spitter, because it's it's going to be constantly firing on you. There you go. A leech is definitely coming to you. It is bonded with you. There you go. You leveled up. Nice. Uh, you want to hit Tilda. So you regain your health. Nice. Leeches can be somewhat dangerous, but they're pretty easy. We shouldn't find it. Like you found, you saw a double-headed slug snout at the base of the rust wells, and that mm -hmm. is a really unlucky gen. That is like, I won't say mid-game, but like. You should, you know, that would be a tough one to fight at level seven. So, uh, remind me about leveling up again. Uh, hit X and X. then uh, hit seven. I, there's oh. probably, it probably you can hit like K for skills. I can't remember which button takes you directly to skills, but I end up usually just doing this. We uh, need. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Yes. And boop. And yes. Nice. All right. More or less back to where we were. We just needed that wire. And we'll be, we'll be fully just back. Just need that wire. You'll be happy to know maybe that there's a, a less um, a puppy. A less brutal uh, enemy at the base of this rust well. I see there's a robot. I think you asked me if there are robots in this game. That doesn't sound like me. You pet the feral dog. I will never not. We can do uh, yeah, so... auto explore. That is uh, always an option. I don't know. There you go. Give it a go. Give it a go. It'll uh, it'll automatically stop whenever anything hostile on the field shows up. That is a kind of dangerous enemy for level three, but I think we could take it. That is a um a slime. Oh oh oh! You're doing all kinds of stuff very quickly. You stunned it though. You stunned it because of your uh, daze ability. Well done. Mm-hmm. 
And I had a dog helping me. You did. I'm flashing blue. What does that mean? It means you're wading through slime right now because uh, that slime exploded into a pool of slime. There's a bear. Um, uh, what are we what? doing? What's what's going on? I I want the wire. Oh, you have to hit G while you're standing on it. G. That's the easiest I need a way. Little, I need a little cheat sheet. I actually have been meaning to make a cheat sheet that I think would be nice for people. Print it out. I'm I'm never gonna remember these hotkeys. Um, so that bear oh. is is gonna come at you. Ring it, bear. So uh, here's here, before you do anything. Um, you can, uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you definitely never want to walk right up to a creature because, um, you, that's you kind of declaring your turn. Like you're walking up to them. That means they don't have to move. That means they get to attack you right away. So what we want to do instead is press the wait key five on your numpad once. And he's elected to go for that bat instead. So we're going to let them fight the bat. We can wait a little bit. Yeah, as expected, they killed the bat without much trouble. We'll hit wait one more time. And now they've walked up to you. Now you get to have the first strike without um, taking any damage. Now, try to be pretty slow about this combat because they could very conceivably hit you very hard. Even one crit could maybe take you out. You miss. So do they, though. You did seven damage. This is good. We can see in the bottom, uh, you can see that they're injured. That's the most we get in terms of like how much health they have left. So they're stunned though. You are stunning them really well right now. Nice. That's that was Murdered really good. that bear. We definitely want to rest so we get our health back. That's the wrong button. That is the wrong button. If you had taken oh, much more dog damage. Stuck. It's stuck in that web. That actually, uh, no, we can't, unfortunately. That's that, a shame. That kind of sucks for them because uh, if they're stuck in a web, a spider might be coming to, to start hurting them. There's our staircase. Found we, the stairs. We still need uh, the 50 foot wire on I this floor. I found wire on this floor. I picked you, it up. You, fi you picked up 20 feet. That was 20 feet? Oh. Yeah, you gotta find uh, 50 feet. Ouch. Ouch. Ow. Stop it. Ow. That hurt. No, oh, we're hungry again. Should I do something about that? Yeah, Here, here's a fun thing we'll do. Um, Hit A. Um, go down to make camp. Don't, don't like, uh, like press C, just go down to it and then hit enter. Now you can assign it to a button. I like shift C for camp, Ooh. but you could also just make it C. I don't think that anything's on C. That works. And now you don't have to go back into that menu to make camp because you're going to be doing that quite often. There you go. Whip up a meal. I toss a con uh, contralateral quillipede quill, a courageous bolt from a rifle turret, and a trim of valiant pure alloy. Those are not foods, mister. <laughs> One of them was literally a turret. <laughs> it was a bolt from a turret. Doggy. Didn't even have the nutrition of a full turret. That's right. You're getting lucky with these dogs. There's some more wire. That's still not the 50 feet, though. That's 10 feet. Oh, so you picked up 10 feet before. You now have 20 feet. <laughs> Dead. Dead end. end. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. I've got Dr. Pepper. Yo, is it diet? 
No. Oh. I'm not a monster. What's hitting me? That seed spitter. <sighs> good. Good form. Good method. Or I, what's the caution? I don't know what 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 would be a good word for that. Precaution. Uh, yes, sure. <laughs> On the wall. Smacked it for fifty damage. Walls, um, walls don't have a lot of health, but they do have a lot of um, AC. So it's generally speaking very hard to do damage to them. You can do it with just like a knife, but um, the interesting thing about the jackhammer is it like as a benefit gets an insane amount of penetration against a uh, against walls. So it lets you do like crit damage. So there's your 50 foot. Ooh. You just punched through that wall. <laughs> you just Kool-Aid manned through that wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. What's following me? Uh, What's that's that thing? A, that's a beetle. I don't think it's a, a dangerous one, though. There are dangerous beetles, though. It's a beetle bum. Oh, the beetle bum consumes the dog corpse. That's grisly. Oh, wait. That's where I want to go. Yep. Beetle bums um, will basically just eat items on the map, spare items. They don't actually, they're not like really um, meat eaters. They just kind of ate it because it was an item on the map. So that was a snap jaw. Um, that's kind of Kobol, uh, sorry, um, Cud's version of goblins. Mm. You got kind of lucky there was a ranged one. So you caught it kind of off guard. And we're able to smack it because it would have backed up. There's another uh, snap jaw. These guys are, are pretty easy to take on. You're basically barely even benefiting from killing them, but uh, you're gonna have to. They uh, their Every strength little bit counts. Their strength definitely comes in numbers. Once they there's a lot of them, they'll actually do a bit more damage to you. Level four. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Yay. Wire. That yes. is three feet. <laughs> Hooray. Yay. Yeah, um, I won't lie. Rustwell's is kind of miserable, though it's not very difficult. It's it, you can't really auto explore because there's just an enemy around every corner Not even a particularly hard one. Just like an enemy um, Your stuff gets rusted and Yeah, you have to play this searching Kind of game for the the copper wire um, Dungeons uh, will get like really difficult in cud this one's not really difficult. It's just kind of tedious or it can be. Listen, I'm probably gonna Kool-Aid man a lot more. No! Oh! Uh-oh. That's okay. There's no double-headed slug stamp this time. There is a robot. Now we're gonna we're gonna practice some good cud practice. I don't know what good cud stuff. We're gonna look at the robot. Na, 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 so, it's neutral to us. This is the, an important takeaway. Um, we can see that at the top. It's tough. So that means if we fought it, um, there's a good chance it would do some pretty nasty damage to you. But the good takeaway is that we don't have to fight it. Mm. There's some wire there, and we also want to check out what's in that chest. Okay. Should I level up again? Um, you don't have to. I don't think that we uh, like we can. I don't think think there's any like immediately relevant skills. I tend to hoard my skill points until like something can uh, uh, like immediately benefit me. Like when I'm about to make a water ritual, I could you could take a skill that gives you more 
um, reputation or, you know, stuff like that. Um, if you can take combat stuff, then that's always nice. That is an arrow. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. It's a, it counts as a short blade. The reason that's interesting is I, I guess you can actually equip an arrow as a, like a weapon. So you can like do melee hits with just the arrow. Hello, robot. Beep, boop, beep. Nice. Friends were made with robots, sort of. You're good to you're good to jump in there. You got you have 123 feet. So you got wet, sturdy sandals of the river wives with cleats, and a copper nugget. They're both wet. Oh, because they're in a chest in water right now. Um, you can hit tab to take all of those. Copper nuggets are, are pretty good. Um, I say pretty good because they become a little bit irrelevant later on. Uh, but uh, they, they're a good thing more, you know, for the most part. I think that's another 50 foot wire. It is. It's 73 th th feet. I don't think you got the the 50. You skipped the floor, right? So we could probably get another 50 feet on the uh, the floor above us. <laughs> oh, yeah. The shale is uh, a lot easier to destroy than the... Uh, what to call it? Full Crete. Full Crete is a little bit uh, made of sterner stuff. What's a vine wafer? Um, oh, you take the vine. Guy? So that's food. That is a cannibal. For obvious reasons, the cannibal is aggressive. <laughs> Hostile average. So I could take them? Uh, yeah, you could definitely take them for sure. But, uh, good, good use of the look key to, to make sure. Nice. You absolutely destroyed them. Didn't even stand a chance. Well, yeah, I'm that, I'm the that man. You're that man. That man. That man. <laughs> I like the occasional, like, you smacking a wall. You're still getting XP from Kudzu, so it is actually worth killing them. Um, you'll get to a point where uh, killing, killing Kudzu isn't actually worth it anymore. Because you actually get no experience at all. Uh, do I want to get that jewel encrusted club? Uh, you could. That the fact that it's jewel encrusted makes it valuable for a club, but it's still a club, so not necessarily super valuable. There's a lot of cannibals in this cave. No. Here, you go ahead and grab it. It is five pounds. I don't know if it'll be worth that weight, but it might be something. You definitely don't want to pick up the human corpse. Good use of the weight key to, to get that first strike. Nice. Yeah, you're picking things up. This really is the big old wall of kudzu. It is. I would actually recommend not fighting all that 
because uh, your nano pneumatic jackhammer is actually potentially at risk if you fight too much kudzu. I'll take the shortcut. You have taken the shortcut. Oh yeah. You can take a moment to appreciate the sound effects of you busting down walls. Uh, for the longest time, there were, I wouldn't say no sound effects, but not as many as could has now. And so the fact that there's any kind of like feedback from breaking walls is kind of nice now. Same for killing Cud, uh, Kudzu. There wasn't really anything, any any sound feedback. <laughs> Are you enjoying just like destroying every wall in the? I'm just I I just trying to find the way out. If I'm being honest. Yeah, we, it's. This is a another good reason why. Um, going straight down i'm not this is not me assigning blame so much as like i general this one was my fault i agree <laughs> um going straight down the pit in Ru rust wells is generally not a great idea because then we don't know how dangerous it is and if you don't know your way back it can it can lead to some nasty problems Genuinely worried that your uh, jackhammer is gonna get rusted. I mean, I could equip arrows. You could. Um, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Well then, shut up. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find that stair. There it is. Never lose faith. You leveled up. Nice. What's this yellow? That's sap. That's uh, that's trash on the ground that has been sapped. Sap stains sta uh, trash. Pretty proud of some of my callouts because I, I, you know, you don't realize how much information is on the screen until you played a lot of this oh, game. Oh, that cannibal done followed me. He done follow you. I don't think we found just our a 50 regular foot. club. Just a regular. I don't know if we found the 50 foot on this floor. I could be wrong about that. Because you have 170 feet, but I'm pretty sure you only you found two 50 foot on the bottom floor, right? Yeah. So we should be able to complete the quest. You. Yeah. If you're ever close to that thing, you you want to kill it as quickly as possible. Because it'll only hurt you. Well, that's 10 feet. Even if we only find, like, two more 10 feet, then we'll be done. There's probably some on the surface as well. Oh, unless the beetle bum ate the... I think that's a beetle bum. Oh, we wanted to look at that crab before we took it on. I mean, you are stunning it pretty well, but crabs are generally pretty tough. Did a good he job. He doesn't even have eyes. He doesn't even have eyes. Well, I killed him. You did kill him. You managed to stun him a few times. Your uh, your cudgel ability is really coming in handy. Stunning creatures is, is just really, really nice. Also, um, a little bit later down the line, I'm not sure when, we get, in my opinion, one of the coolest abilities in the entire game, which is uh, Slam. There's our 50 foot. Uh, and Slam literally lets you punch enemies through walls. <laughs> Oh, it's really good. <laughs> You've done it. I have finished the step. Find 200 feet of copper wire on a quest. Weird wire conduit, Eureka. Excellent. 
There's even some extra bonus wire there. It, it gains you nothing, but we'll take it. Uh oh. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you don't want to move while you're bleeding. You'll take extra damage. So right now your character is attempting to staunch, like kind of stop the bleeding while you wait. Um, you can wait a, a couple more turns before it becomes really a problem. I've only died from bleeding like once ever. You usually stop. Yeah, okay. So let's do a rest. Perfect. If you, uh, if you took much more damage, I was going to recommend, uh, eating some witchwood bark. Nice. A nip of ice frog spittle, a titanium hunk of cheese, an ear seed, and a dash of bulgur. Again, a lot of those does not sound like food. That actually is the most food sounding thing I've seen in Cud. Outside right. of the frog spittle, like, pretty, pretty not terrible. That's at least a one, one or two star on Yelp. Solar cell. My solar that. cell. Yep. No. <laughs> let's um, let's hit the minus key for a moment. Yeah. Should be able to just leave. And we more or less do. There's not really anything else for us here. And we can do that again on the next floor. Do 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 do. Hello, doggy. Awesome. Um, we should be able to leave. We're not close enough to those baboons for them to matter. And we can head back to Jopa. I... Perfect. So, uh... um, yeah, let's let's see if you're what what key would be good. Uh, the one that it. brings up all the people that's yeah, the one that's the one it's backspace uh, argive his name argive the backspace point of interest menu is relatively new in uh cud's lifetime and uh the number of times I've been asked how to use that menu is pretty hilarious. There. Take the wire. Yes, yes, wire. Beautiful wire. Oh, before I forget or cease to care, I repaired an old recoiler for you. Use it whenever you wish to return to Chopa quickly. Now give me a few minutes alone to attach the wire. I have received a Chopa recoiler. That's a good one. Return to Archive of the Quest to Weird Wire Conduit Eureka. I've completed that quest. Nice. Hooray! You gained a nice chunk of XP. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Great. So Anything let's uh, do. Yeah, we want to talk to Archive again. He's going to give us a, a pretty important quest. Oh, no. It, this All is right. the story, unfortunately. You have to do this one. It's working, genius. They said it couldn't be done. They said I was mad. They were all... What's this? What is that? Wait, it's repeating itself. Mumble, 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 mumble. I gotta do this for several minutes. Yeah. Prentice, come here. Something very strange has happened. The conduit is picking up a signal, some sort of repeating transmission. I cannot decipher it, however. I lack... 
crypto gull eggs, and well, never you mind. I have a great task for you, my apprentice. Do you accept it? Yeah. Oh, no, I'll just accept it. I don't care. I mean, it's to get eggs, I assume. <laughs> Very well. You must seek out Baratham. The old, it's not to get eggs. Oh. He is the eldest and wisest tinker alive. He lives with his followers in the Barathrum, Barathrumits in the cavern called Gritgate to the northeast along the ruins of Kud. You will know what to make of the signal. Who are these Barathrumites? They are disciples of Barathrum. Mostly they are Urshib. Like their mentor, mutant albino cave bears. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Yep, those are the words I said. Okay. With quills to boot. A thousand years ago, Barathum and his kin crossed the Holmes Delta into the heart of Kud. He has spent centuries fiddling with the tokens of antiquity in his underground workshops. If he cannot decipher the signal, no one can. Great. Splendid, this print is splendid. I've recorded the signal onto this disc. You'll need to guard it with your life, I'm afraid. Also, I'll need to rig up Droid Scrambler for you. The Barothermites have programmed several way droids to guard the approach to Gritgate. With Scrambler, you'll have no need to worry about them. Wait there. Mumble, 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 mumble. There you go. Now, off with you. You may live long enough to do my bidding. Away, away. Great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All Huzzah. right. So that is uh that is the this is really the first step. Um getting to Grit Gate is the first step in um actually doing the campaign in CUD. Wow. Um we will basically never interact with our guy again. I don't know if that pleases you. This pleases me, yes. No, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Um, we still need to go and find what is eating the water vine. That's uh, true. It's extra XP and just an extra fun thing to do. Also, Red Rock is a pretty fun dungeon. So, um, we'll probably take that on in the next episode. Dope. Any closing thoughts? I didn't die this time. You did But I did die. fall down a hole again. And so... You know there's a there's a lot of holes you'll you'll be falling down a lot of them for sure all right cool well if you're enjoying uh cud buds with galen definitely hit the like button consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time bye bye